gorgeous always. So this is Lamar house, Lamar Houston's house, excuse me. We're gonna go in here and make some juices, talk about wellness, talk about some of his new ventures he's got going on. Yeah, and hang out with my good friend. Can I come in? All right, thanks, man. Thanks. What's going on, brother? How you doing, man? Good to see you, man. Good to see you too, man. Good hugging you. Yeah, my dear. Man, what's going on? So we're gonna make some juices. Let's do it. Let's make some juices. Hey, everybody. It's Killaroo here. Uh, Kill's Kitchen. Got my man Lamar. Lamar Houston. Good friend of mine. Go back a long time. Uh, we met at University of Texas. We played ball. What was the first thing you remember about, about me when I when you met me? <laughs> first thing? <laughs> first thing. I mean, I, I come down from Colorado and I'm going to the South Korean Texas for football. You know, this is this is the mecca of football, and you know, I come into the locker room, and one of the first things I see is there's a guy in there with a tattoo on his back that says "kill." <laughs> And I was just like, wow, so this is real. This is where, <laughs> this is where I'm coming to play ball. This is about to get, this is about to get serious. <laughs> yeah, man. I remember when I met you, man, I, I was so impressed with how big you were, bro, and also, like, just your sense of humor. You're so funny. You're always laughing, always smiling, but then you were just this massive human being that was so much of a wrecking ball on a, on, a, on a field. It was just an amazing thing to see those two things together, man. Uh, I'm, I'm very thankful that, you came out, that you're allowing me to come out to your house Thank and you. make this juice, man. Um, so tell me about your juice we got here. So we got some beets, some turmeric, ginger, ginger. Uh, what's this? Lime. Lime, apple, orange, lemon. Okay. This is my wellness shot. It's okay. Like what I start with in the morning. Now where'd you where'd you come up with this? Uh, I went to a uh, basically a health and wellness seminar where they teach you about different things mm -hmm. to help you know clean different parts of your body. And one thing that I noticed that. Uh, was important was liver health. Mm. You know, over the years, you know, you've taken all kind of medications, yeah. etc. Yes, yes. You know, so that's, I think that's something that should be done on a daily basis, mm. as opposed to like you know, some people do a concentrated liver cleanse. I think that if you do it on a daily basis with some of these different aspects of of the beet working in your blood, yes. the lime alkalinizing your body, the inflammation killers with the ginger, indeed, and the, indeed, turmeric, and then the vitamin C with the orange and the all the citrus you know, the, here, the, yeah, the man, with the lemon. So, I, I, bro, I love it. Um, now, you, you make this every morning. Yeah, I'm, I, make it, I make it about once a week and it lasts me okay. five days. Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Um, what do you find outside of this juice that's kind of been helpful in you, kind of staying healthy? You mentioned anti-inflammatory, mitigating some of those responses. Besides this juice, what else do you do to kind of help keep that inflammatory response relatively low? Well, I do another juice that is a uh, high anti-inflammatory with carrots, ginger, turmeric, kale, spinach. Oh, they, they, they taught you a lot of stuff at that seminar, yeah. huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you gotta keep that body flush, man. Facts, it's, it's a man. Constant, Facts. You gotta constantly cleanse the toxins. Yes, 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 yes. That's what I try to do. Wow, man, that's, that was that was pretty quick and easy. That wasn't hard at all, bro. <laughs> I liked it a lot. Went through smooth. I, I liked it a lot. Uh, man, if you don't mind, I'll ask you a couple questions. Uh, first question I ask you um, is about Kilimanjaro. I, I know you recently, I think 2020, you said, uh, went out there and were able to kind of scale. That. <laughs> <laughs> Just climb. Just climb. <laughs> Just climb that. Tell me about that experience. What was that like? Uh, it, it, it's a great experience. I think. Uh, I don't know if you'll do it twice, but I think that once is enough. <laughs> That's it, just one, bro. One six day stint on a mountain will, will six teach you days. A lot. Yeah. Six days. It'll teach you a lot about yourself. I think the mountain reveals who you are to yourself. Okay. Yeah. I like that. What did you, what did you reveal to yourself? Uh, there's nothing I can do, um, especially if I put my mind to it nice. and, I'm, and I'm hyper focused on it. So I can accomplish anything anything that I want to accomplish. I, I think that's a great point because it actually gives me to my next question. I know you, when you retired from football, 
right? You're now starting the VC world a little bit. You have a business coming up here. Would you mind kind of expand upon that, that transition from football to becoming a businessman? Um, yeah, man. Yeah, you know, I, I retired and, um, you know, I was, I was blessed to be able to play for as long as I did. And I figured uh, when I got done, I wanted to be working for myself in a capacity that were, you know, I'm doing something that's competitive, that requires a lot, uh, requires a lot of due diligence, just like football does, you know, when yes. you're learning about a new player, you're going about against an opponent, all the things you study, all the things you uh, research on your opponents, it's kind of the same thing in venture. And uh, it's the same thing in business as far as when you're creating a product that, you know, you're trying to uh, find a solution for a high demand. Yeah, so, and what's, what product are you currently working on now? Uh, I have an age-restricted uh, vending machine. Okay. So it can vend anything that's age-restricted from cannabis to alcohol. So you're able to be uh, in those industries correct. without being, and I think that is one of the smartest things that we, we learn as you get a little older. You don't have to be in the industry to benefit from the industry. This is true. Um, we're a hands-off technology. We don't do any licenses or anything like that or handle any products. So we're a great tool and uh, hardware for people to, you know, maximize their output. I've always been a smart kid, bro. <laughs> I've been a smart kid, man. Thanks a lot. Hey, so let's go ahead and get this juice going. Uh, if you don't mind, pour some. This is my um, mixture of alkalinizing so. and liver wellness, as well as, uh, you know, Getting my blood cells open and keeping them open with the beats. So you just you say in the morning, any other time or like say if I'm recovering from an injury, would this be something I want to kind of incorporate into my like my daily routine into my my rehab process? Yes, of course. I think anything that is uh, high in anti-inflammatory nutrients is Facts. really well because one of the things that happens from injuries and for me personally having knee surgeries, mm. um, anti-inflammatory is the first thing you want to start attacking. And that stuff, you know, it inhibits your muscle contraction. It's your muscle uh, rejuvenate, uh, re, uh, <laughs> rebounding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming back. Uh, but the so. thing about this is awesome is instead of having to take a bunch of anti-inflammatories over the counter, having the doctor prescribe them. Fresh. Fresh. Natural. Man, let's try it. Cheers. Ah, it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be a shot. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, hey, you know what? Well, we don't have to finish it all. Just a sip. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty strong. Oh, yeah, okay. I can see a shot. Yeah, mmm. Yeah, mm, <laughs> right here. <laughs> you feel it. You feel it. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. <laughs> I can see how I use this in the morning. Yeah. Indeed. Now, for real, I can see how I use this in the morning. It's definitely, it's definitely a shock to the system, but it's delicious all the same. Man, I, again, I appreciate you letting me come in to your house, man. Share with me what you do to kind of stay healthy, to stay fit, even as you start to kind of. Um, I don't say age with grace, bro, but you know how it is. <laughs> hey, I, I, I bow gracefully, okay? Hey, you know, I, yeah, I like to hear. But yeah, man, this is phenomenal. I really appreciate the information you gave me. Uh, yeah, man, nothing but love, man, nothing but love. Thanks for having me, man. All right, bro, thank you for having me, bro, peace. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching us make this juice. I appreciate it. Um, next episode, we'll do something even fun, even more exciting. Bro, you, you're exciting, but you know, y'all's got to build upon that. Hey, keep it going, keep it <laughs> You know, there's building, building, building. Growth is important. Um, like, subscribe. Follow. You guys are the routine. When you see boy in the street, hide like you know me. Peace. I'm going to throw that kill in there. I'm going to kill, bro. I'm going to kill, bro. <laughs>I don't squat anymore. I don't do bar or back squats anymore. I do a lot of pistol squats, but you know, I use this for like push press or regular bench press. Pistol uh, squats. Why, why pistol squats? You know, strengthen my VMO, uh, posterior hip, work on my balance. Man, so, I, I lie, I lie. I lie. <laughs> nice, nice. I see you got some medicine ball 15. How much is this? I got a, a 10, 15, or 30. You know, I use those for my core exercises. Sometimes I do those with my pistol squats. Nice, Sometimes, nice. The counter bounce there. Uh, I do them with, you know, like just like a low squat, anything like that. Dude, that's awesome, man. man. Again, thanks for letting me come out to your house. Let me, you know, share 
I enjoy you sharing information with me as far as your juices, what you do for workout, man, staying healthy, man. Always a pleasure, brother. No problem. Appreciate it. Thank you.